Hey guys, I'm Nick and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious eggnog. Now if you've never had eggnog before and I've actually never tried it before, it is a delicious spiced treat uh, that you can sip on during the holiday season and it has egg yolks in it which makes it a little bit thick and really nice and rich. This thing is really easy to make. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make a toasty version, so a hot version and a cold version or an eggnog frappuccino. At the end of this video guys, I'm going to be making a huge announcement. The biggest I've ever made on the screen line, definitely the biggest one I've made. And I'd love for you guys to stick around to find out what that is. So stick around, but for now let's get stuck into this delicious eggnog. By the way guys, do you like this shirt that I'm wearing? I'm not sure like if it's too floral. I bought it last year, but I never used it for Christmas and I thought I'd chuck it on for this video. Let me know in the comments down below. So because we're making eggnog, the first word in eggnog is eggs. That's what we're gonna begin with. And we're gonna be separating our yolks from our whites. So I'm gonna do that right now. Two separate bowls. I like to tap the eggs together and then just place swapsies with the egg yolk. And then that's it. Some people like to use their hands. I don't like the feeling of eggs on my hands. I just ugh, don't like it. All right, so now that our eggs are done, let's pop those into a medium sized mixing bowl and we're gonna add some caster sugar. So caster sugar is also known as super fine sugar. It's not quite as big as granulated sugar and it's not powdery like powdered sugar. The reason I'm using this is because it dissolves a lot quicker than granulated sugar. If you don't have super fine sugar, you can actually make your own using a food processor. I'm going to be using my electric hand mixer today to whip these up for about five minutes until it's nice and pale. When you lift the beaters up and they fall off in a ribbon, you know you have the beautiful right consistency that you're looking for. Let's set that aside, it's done, and I want to show you how to heat up the milk super duper easy. Let's go over there for that. We're going to add the milk, cinnamon, some freshly grated nutmeg. If you don't have your own to grate, you can just use the ready store-bought ground one. And some vanilla extract. We're gonna add that to our medium-sized saucepan and we're gonna bring it to a gentle heat. You don't wanna let this simmer. You don't wanna let this boil. Otherwise it will ruin the flavors and consistency of your eggnog. All right, so that has heated up. It didn't boil. We don't want it to get to boil. Um, but what we want to do is we want to add about half a cup of this really hot milk mixture into the egg mixture. We don't want to add it all at once because then we risk cooking the eggs and scrambling them. So we want to slowly introduce it and slowly heat that egg mixture up. So let's add about half a cup without spilling it all. And we're just going to whisk, whisk, whisk this in. Let's add another half a cup and whisk, whisk, whisk. And now I'm just gonna add the rest of this into the hot milk mixture and just whisk, whisk, whisk that in. Let's hop back over to the stove and pop this back on for another five minutes just to thicken it. And then I wanna show you how to finish it off. So that actually thickened quite a bit. It took about five minutes and just remember and keep in mind the longer, like when this cools down, it's going to actually thicken even more. So we're going to add the final steps, which is some heavy cream. So just add that in there. Now this part is completely optional, but I'm going to be adding about three tablespoons or maybe two tablespoons of rum. I might not go overboard. So just add that in there as well. I'm gonna use a whisk to whisk all of that up. Guys, this is done. It's ready to be served. If you see that there are any lumps, run it through the sift, it'll get through, rid of the lumps. I'm gonna let this cool down to room temperature. I'm gonna taste it, but 
I want to show you how to serve this as an eggnog frappuccino. So let's move on to that. Okay, really, really easy guys. We're going to add in our eggnog. I added some ice to this to cool it down quicker. So that's what you're going to hear dropping in. And we are going to add our espresso in here. Also added ice to this to cool it down quicker. Let's just give this a blitz very, very quickly to combine these. Right. It's literally like the easiest thing ever. The next thing we're going to add is ice. Pop this back on and blitz again. This smells so good. All right, I'm gonna serve these up and we're gonna do a taste test. I searched high and low for these glasses because these are proper frappuccino glasses. It doesn't actually matter what you serve it in, it's still gonna be delicious. Let's start with this. I wanna show you guys how to serve it up. All right, now this next bit, I actually had to stop recording to go to the store to get this because I think it is important I don't know about you guys, but I really, really like Starbucks. I loved it a lot more than I do now. I'll tell you guys that story another time, but I feel like one of the things I really love about Frappuccinos from there is the whipped cream. You can whip your own and add that on top of here, but like the stuff that comes in the can is just so much lighter and more delicious. Um, I got the light one, so guilt-free. Now, something you could do as well on these is like drizzle, some caramel sauce in the glass before you pour it in. I don't have any, so let's just do this. And I reckon a good sprinkle of nutmeg and a gold straw makes this great. All right, let's set this aside and we're gonna serve up our toasted eggnog. Completely optional, but I'm gonna add some more whipped cream on this. I think like just a little bit in the center, just, just a little bit. And I reckon some nutmeg as well. That's it guys. Here is your toasty eggnog. If you're like in America or parts of the world where it's cold during Christmas, or if you're in Australia where I am and it's summer during Christmas, this is like really refreshing. And I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, no, wait, I can't taste this yet because I'm gonna be tasting this for the first time, not on this video, but instead on my, wait for it, brand new podcast. I have a brand new podcast, it's called Bake My Day, and my co-host, wait for it, is Elise Strawn from My Cupcake Addiction, I am so excited to be able to finally announce that Elise and I are launching this brand new podcast. Now, this podcast is essentially a safe cake space that Elise and I have created so that you guys can share all of your baking disaster stories that you probably couldn't laugh at at the time when it was happening, but we can all laugh with you about it now. Anything exploding, glass going and stuff, that's a nightmare. We're, we're, we're with you in spirit, Colleen, that sucks. I know, do you know, I, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but when like glass shatters near food or foods in something with glass and it shatters, there's this split millisecond that's like, oh, I can save that. <laughs> But then you're like, oh, you start picking it, it the pieces glass, of glass you know? out of the turkey. You're like, I spent six to nine dollars on this bird. <laughs> and you're like, oh, but it has glass in it. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Our first ever episode is a Christmas special. So Elise and I are going to be sipping on eggnog during the episode. I've never had it before. She has. But we both get a little bit tipsy towards the end of the episode. Maybe Elise more than I. Now, on the episode as well, Elise made rum balls and she's actually made a recipe video for that and you can go and listen to it over on her channel right now. It's My Cupcake Addiction. In our first ever episode, which is up on Spotify right now, you can listen and follow for free on Spotify. We're gonna be talking about really important things like, do you reckon Santa has a 
blood sugar level issue because of all the treats that we leave him. I actually come to the realization that you can't eat glass when it's in food. I didn't know that before. It's such a fun listen. And guys, I've never been prouder or worked on something this hard than I have of this podcast. So what I'd love for you to do is support the podcast by going and listening to it right now. I've left a link in the description box below for you guys. Click on it, listen. And guys, if you do that, it would really make my day. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what you guys think. As soon as you listen, let me know in the comments down below what you thought. As usual, more recipe videos over there if you want to go and watch them. Make sure you subscribe and go and listen to the podcast. It's so, so funny.